Yo guys, what's up? It's Omega, your favorite Destiny 2 YouTuber, or whatever, I don't know, but, you know, I'm gonna be talking about in this video of this absolutely amazingly done cutscene, teaser, or whatever you want to call it, and I'll be talking about the future of Destiny 2, and what we're gonna be seeing in the next season, like Trials, and how the Thorn, which is a Star Room, is coming back out, which is an amazing one, by the way, I have the OG, I'm an OG one, by the way, but, you know, absolutely, this teaser is amazing, first off the bat, June 9th, we're going to be seeing something super cool, and I hope that Bungie knows what they're going to be doing for it. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Obviously, we're going to be seeing the Wishes of Sorrow Ultimate be coming back in the Destiny 2 in the next season. And that's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm going to actually, you know, I have the OG version of that. Or not really OG, but you want to say that, you know, I'm the one I got on the first day, which is actually pretty exciting. It's pretty good. I like the normal version better. I everything I actually know better. Like how uh, the Falcon just has the new ornament. I like the normal version of it better. And I'm getting really off topic. My bad, guys. You know, I like the Wishes of Sorrow as well because it's nice. You know, it looks pretty beautiful as well. But I gotta say, it's just not my cup of tea. You know, honestly, it looks amazing, absolutely. But. If my opinion, if you're gonna buy it, make sure that Thorn is like the only weapon that you're actually gonna use. Now, a lot of people like this, but the couple has a couple setbacks right now. Not really setbacks, but it just makes it look weird. So when you actually get Soul of Devour, instead of it looking blue, as some people would think that it would, I honestly thought it would do that, because it would look absolutely better like that. You know, it look absolutely more amazing. But it's actually green instead, which is kind of annoying to me. And no, I don't really find it appealing you could say but the reload for it it's blue the front of the gun looks blue you know everything about it looks amazing besides that one thing you know hopefully they make like an og version for the way i got it the first time and you know they get that and that'd be really awesome if bungie did that but i doubt they would do something like that so yeah that's the first thing i wanted to bring up Now, the second and last thing I actually wanted to bring up in this video is Trials itself. Because Trials is very interesting, you know? <laughs> the matchmaking is pretty off. They're going to fix that, hopefully, soon. But the matchmaking is pretty off. The actual, like, whole point of it is kind of annoying. But they're going to fix all that. You know, Adept, Adept, <laughs> Adept Weapons is going to be coming. Um, better matchmaking. Some skill, some stuff. Uh, a whole bunch of new things are going to be coming, like bounties with actual awards in them, not randomized rewards for every week, so that's why you don't get double chest piece or whatever again, which is really annoying, by the way, Bungie, not going to lie, but you know, that's like the thing that I wanted to bring up, because I know a lot of people love Trials, I honestly love Trials, I've gone flawless only six times in these past couple weeks, and I plan on going flawless again this week, for the final week, but it's kind of like annoying, you know, because people can just sit in the first one and farm tokens. Like, they need to fix that, honestly. And, like, another thing about the actual first round and, like, a couple rounds after that, they shouldn't be, like, actual sweats, you know? It shouldn't be, like, 3,000 Nilo or whatever. Um, like, they need to fix it, honestly. But, you know, that's, like, really all I have to say for trials. And I hope that it gets better. The flawless seal is also pretty fun, but after a while it gets annoying every single week. So, you know, it's going to be kind of annoying if anyone who's about to get it doesn't get it. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for myself because I'm pretty close to getting it this week, and hopefully I do. Did enjoy this video. I'll be streaming on Friday. Please do leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.